Is that what you did? Yep. Good afternoon, everybody. It is a Saturday. Hold on a second. We have Linda Hansen here, creative partner Linda Hansen, and she is going to be kicking off our day one of challenges. So if you don't know, we are celebrating Kiwi Lane's 12th birthday um, on July, or excuse me, August 26th. Leading up to that, we're doing 12 days of creating challenges. So Linda is going to start us with day one, which is all about sketches. Um, in the description of this event, if you click on the link that takes you to the discussion tab, you'll see the sketches that uh, Linda is, is used for inspiration, play to create with these. So we're excited that you're here. Let me make sure we have comments coming in. Um, Linda, if you want to... Uh, do an introduction a little bit. Let me see if I can see some comments. We're getting comments here. Perfect. Sonia, we're getting them. Yep. And I see Sharon and Jennifer and uh, Alex and Diana, Sheila, Lee scrolling. So he's going real fast. <laughs> Elizabeth, Nick, yes, Nikki. Sorry. Yay. Well, I'm so glad you guys can join us. We're really excited about our 12 days of creating challenges. We encourage you to create and any of the challenges that we have going on. Um, we have a lot of fun ones coming up. If you're curious to see um, what other challenges we're doing, you can go to the, the link um, in, the, in the description, which takes you to the landing page for our 12th birthday. Um, and we're excited to celebrate. This is all about being a creator and celebrating our birthday and hanging out and doing some sketches. So. I will let Linda take it from here, but um, in the meantime, we'll see you guys on the next crafting. All right, thank you, Sonia. Hi, oh, thank you. So glad you all could join. I am so thrilled to be the first one to do this sketch challenge with you. I'm gonna hold this up just a little bit more so you guys can see it. And, um, it, it was so much fun. I actually made one pretty much exactly like this. And then I thought we would do one where um, we're going to vary it just a little bit. Okay. So if you're ready, I'm going to show you the one that I did today. Make sure I can get it Has on. The, challenge, the sketch for the challenge been posted? Yes. Uh, a lot of them have been working. How many of you guys have been doing the sketch challenge already? So see, hopefully get this. I'm going to check here the video. My video is a little bit slower, so I'm hoping we can get it in here. All right. Can you guys see this? Here's your sketch challenge that I did. This is Everly. This was her first birthday. I don't think we had celebrated it yet when we were with you guys. And um, she turned one year old. I just love this paper. This paper came from um, Echo Park, Photo Play. Basil, American Craft, and Jack and Jill. I had never ever seen Jack and Jill paper up close and I stopped, our, our scrapbook store has it. So I stopped and uh, had to look and it was perfect. So I mix match. This is not coordinated paper at all. I did this on my own. So guys, don't be afraid of picking out a piece of paper from this company and that company because it will blend with the Kiwi Lane templates. Now, a few little hints here. I, I think if you guys did the challenge, you notice there were tags that are tucked under these pictures. Well, I added a little ribbon. I poked a regular whole little ribbon. And then what I did is I left the top part of the photo loose 
And on each tag, it has a little uh, word about what she is. So this one says funny. This one says sweet. That one says lovely. This one says cute. This one says, oh, I lost my R. My goodness. I'll put him right back. This one says smart. And this one is one year because that's how old she was. And of course, I incorporated her name. Her nickname is Sugar Pie. That's what we named her when she was born. So um, that was a little variant from it. And then, of course, I added some more of my little doodles. I love to do stitching around everything. And I also added some, some velvet flowers and some um, sprinkles from Doodlebug. So that is the first one. Now, what I thought we would do tonight, since I made this pretty much similar to what the sketch is like, I thought we would take the same size, pretty much same size of the picture templates, and then the same uh, Paisley Place 3A and 3B, and we're going to incorporate, though, a few of the other things that I've got secretly planted, and hidden away over there. Now, the paper that I'm using tonight is something that just came out. It's been, I've had it on pre-order for months, but we are going to use Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Lemon Twist. So have you guys ever seen that? It is gorgeous. And if you remember back in May of 2020, we had uh, templates called Squeeze the Day, hint, hint. That's what we're gonna to try to incorporate in this. Now, I just picked the paper, I've cut my pictures, but I have not done any matching or anything like that. So we're gonna just kind of do what we normally do every day. We're gonna to play to create. All right. What I did choose though, is some basil paper. It is, I don't know if the name is on, it just says chiffon on it. So um, I do wanna use this as the background because the papers are quite busy. Have, have, has anyone, oh, you have the whole collection? I keep looking for more and more ideas, but too many scrappers have posted anything with this line. So excited. Oh, well, we will try to do something different. I have a couple packages of it too because I loved it so much. I'm gonna do this as a true 12. And, um, and Cindy said she loves that paper collection. Awesome. Yes, I, I, I tell you what, they, Simple Stories is really up in the game. They really are. So on their papers, this vintage stuff they've been doing is phenomenal. Now, if you guys are a true scrapper, these you don't throw away, right? Except when the ink comes through. So that I'm going to get rid of. But normally I keep them and use them either somewhere in the layout or I will um, use them in a future layout or use them for my cards. So I was at the scrapbook store today and I met uh, about, I think it was four or five ladies from Chicago, Illinois. It was the first time they'd been in the store and I got to introduce uh, Kiwi Lane to them. I was back in the back uh, cropping in the crop room and uh, they fell in love with the Kiwi Lane and. So I'm looking forward to working with them in the future. And uh, it was just a wonderful day. It really was. Okay, so there's what we're gonna use on that. Oh, I guess I should show you the subject, shouldn't I? Our subject is our other granddaughter who is uh, our, my second oldest. This is Adriana. We call her the Munchkin because she's so tiny. And she did a dance recital this spring and uh, she just wanted some poses. There's, that's, she's drama. <laughs> she just wanted some poses to show what she can do after her event was over. And her daddy gave her this beautiful uh, multicolored rose. So she just had some different things and it's just all about her. And I thought squeeze the day would be perfect for that. So. And Jennifer said, you can use those scraps for the scraps challenge coming up too. Yes, perfect. Yes, you can. Okay, so now some of these are not gonna go the same direction as, um, 
as, as the other ones, but that's okay. Okay, so this one's gonna go up here. That one goes there. I'm gonna get them all laid out here for us. And then this and this goes together. And this, and this is going up here. I do believe I can change them if I want here, but let's see what we got. Okay, and this is where she got ready to go. Now these are supposed to be three by threes, but I made them a little bit bigger. I think they're three and a half by four and a half because otherwise I couldn't get a little pretty toes in. And then this one goes right there. I think we'll switch this, see if that'll work. Trisha says, hey, Lyndon Lee. Hi, I'm so glad you guys could join us this Saturday night. It's been really warm here yet. Have you guys still? But not bad. Not, not as bad, no. Let's try this over here. See how that works. That might work a little better. Let's go. Oh, there we go. And then we'll do this one. Doesn't have to be the exact. Let's just put it on this side. I think y'all have there that, we go. that sketch challenge picture. Yes. Because you have a couple of just joins. So okay. Well, yeah. let me hold this back up. Just so you know, this is what we're doing. Okay. All right. So now I've got my pictures laid out according to the uh, sketch challenge. And then I need to do, um, I'm going to do a four inch here and I'm going to do a five and a half inch uh, strip. What kind of strip? Mm, well, we're going to find a strip. Or is it going to have. <laughs> Kinks in it. Yeah. To it. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Okay. So I know. Cindy Ward said I also. Hello. So I know I want to use this one. Isn't that beautiful? And on the back side is the black gingham. I love this paper. So that I know is going to be the uh, four. And then I do believe five and a half. Let me grab my ruler. Just double double check. What is the old saying? Measure twice, cut once. So really, I usually cut twice and then decide. five and a half. Yeah. Okay, five and a half by four. Cut it twice and it's still too short. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Though. I really don't want to do that. Okay. Now this paper has a one-way design on it, ladies. So if you are familiar with one-way designs and, and Kiwi Lane Dr. templates, it's pretty paper. Yeah, you have to be careful of the way you cut it. So I have two sheets of this. I'm going to have to use the second one because this one's going to go this way and that one's going to go that way. And you see we have a little directional. So I am going to cut the four inch first. And I agree, Nikki. That's exactly where I am. And uh, I think I saw Detro when uh, first came on is from Western Kentucky our son and his family, which is our other grandkids. They used to live in Sykeston. So we used to kind of go down that way quite a bit. Yeah. Okay, now I gotta get my other sheet. See on the back of it is the black flag. Just gotta find it. So what all did you guys do today? Like I said, I went to the scrapbook store and uh, worked a little bit there. It was kind of nice. There, there was a few people in there shopping, but where and I was at- When you say work, you go back, they have an open scrap kind of area where you can go back and scrapbook and that's where she was. Yes. She don't work at the store, she just- Well, today I, I was given some directions and helping a little bit. So I was. Uh, For some, okay. she, she went overnight scrapbooking last night. She just got. Ooh, home. fun! So y'all scrapped out. Are you ready to play? Okay, we need six inches. No, five and a half. Okay, so a four inch on this side, five and a half on this side. Okay. And Becky said the rodeo in Sykeston this weekend. Oh, I remember that. And Linda Jones, I know is there something special needed to view these lives that never open for me until after they're over. They just show a black screen trying to download. Well, 
I tell you, it's Facebook, I think. I think it's the troubles going. We go on Zoom and then go to Facebook. And I think there's a little bit of a disconnect. So um, just keep trying. I'll, I'll, let, um, I'll let them know at the head office and see if there's anything we can do. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this one. Or should I use that one? Ooh, decisions, says, decisions. I'm exhausted. Ah. <laughs> Once a month, my scrapbook friends and I get together at our church and scrapbook. We were there until 2.30 a.m. and back up at 8.30. Ooh, wow. That's that much rest. That's, that's busy. Okay, same deal with this one. This pattern I have here, this paper is a one directional. So I'm glad I picked up extra sheets. Okay, so when I when that happens, we can only do one template at a time instead of Is there our, marks on that paper. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. It's, it's aged, distressed. Oh, we call is it. that what they call it? They it call looks it like distressed. It's used. <laughs> How would you and use dirty. it? Dirty. It looks like it's dirty. It's no, but there is black on it. It's, it's, <laughs> it's distressed, darling. It's distressed. So, okay, so okay. back to what I was saying. Normally, we I'm put <laughs> normally we put one template here and then we set the other one, oops, sorry, upside down, right there. So we make, we usually do our line here, but it here and then make our line here, right? And so we got to cut, we can't do that because this has a one way pattern. So I'm going to have to cut them up separately. Gonna do a slide slide. Nope, not gonna do the slide slide flip tonight, but I need to get ink or lead on my pencil. I don't wanna come out. Deputy says, went to the Amish community and bought tomatoes. Ooh. Watching you instead of working them up. Oh, how many tomatoes did you get? Did you get a, a bunch to do something with? We used to do salsa. That was our biggie. Well, we used to can them too. And can, we used yeah. to get like a couple tomatoes at a time. Tomato soup. We'll see what's on the back of that. Oh, that one. Okay. Nowadays, we just get a few and have nice homemade uh, BLTs. Yeah, that's what we did um, a couple nights ago. A couple nights ago. Yeah, we finished it for breakfast this morning. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, here we go. So now this one, and you got to be careful because the one way you don't want to turn it this way on the edge because it'll be upside down. Two bushels she got. Two, oh, my Lord. Have mercy. I remember doing two bushels when I was still living with my parents. That's no fun. Steaming them, peeling the skin off. and bleh. That was a hot, messy job. I'd rather do sweet corn any day than do tomatoes. Okay. Now we take our handy dandy Tim Holtz scissors. Writing goes towards me. Oh, I guess I better cut that strip off. Headlight. It'll make things a whole lot and easier. Why you do that? Chrisanda said they spend the night and they take their air mattresses and they sleep in scrapbook in the gym there at their church. Oh, cool. And we've been doing this for about five years or more. However, we've been scrapbooking together for about 11 years. So it's a lot of fun and laughs. Wow. That's awesome. I think I've been to one crop this year. I haven't been Hopefully to Hopefully things start getting better in regards to COVID. So yeah. again, but a lot of places. Go, go ahead. I just go say Hollywood just said they had BLTs last night. Ooh. So delicious. We use good applewood bacon, thick stuff. And Nikki said I had a BLT for lunch today and for supper last night. Yummy. Yeah, we like using that thick slab bacon, as Linda said, and we generally cook it in the oven. Yeah. It seems like it stays. Put it on parchment large paper. Don't get all shrunk up and yeah, put it on parchment paper. Yeah. And... I ran out of parchment paper and used what I thought was going to be the best thing, nonstick foil. Mm -mm. It's stuck to my good cookie sheet. I was not a happy camper. Not at all. So yeah, I didn't think it was as good as normal. So maybe you should do it that again. Was... <laughs> You'd we'll like that, practice. wouldn't you? <laughs> you would like yeah, do it, that. Do it until you get it right. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm not. I I'm not out of the screen, am I, girls? 
My eyes are playing funky with me tonight. I think you're right where you need to be. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're watching. So oh, let's do it. I was going to say something earlier, and then I let you go, and I can't remember what it was. Nikki wants to know what tip you do the baking in the oven. Four and a quarter. I turn it on, get it heating up, and then just about the time I get the parchment paper on the pan and the bacon on the parchment paper, it's ready to go in. And it, it, it varies on the, it's not the oven, it's the bacon. It just depends on for how long you cook it um, with the type of bacon and so, no, if you knocked it off, it's yeah, I know. I saw that. But I couldn't stop what I was doing. I was going around a corner and I didn't want to stop. Okay. Sure, you got the texture the right way? Yep. That one's going to go there. No, I trained you in all these techniques. Oh, I, I know. You sure. did. You did such a great job. Make sure you're Let me out. tell you, you did a good job. You did a good job. <laughs> Okay, and now I know there is black. Rena says she just does hers at three fifty. Three fifty. My oven is a convection oven, so it prefers to be hot with the circulating pan in there well, when I cook it, that. And you like your bacon pretty crispy too. Yeah. Well, when I go to a restaurant, I order it cremated. <laughs> I tell them really crispy. I tell them to cremate it. <laughs> And I like my hash browns crispy too. So, all right, I'm going to make two half inch strips out of this. Okay, if if I'm missing something for you guys, you just yell out. And, so well, if you have to ask some inches? questions, say what? Is that 0.5 inches? It's a half inch. Yes, point. I had to stop and think what you were talking about. I got to get the other one. Because that one is a one-way design too. FYI, girls, these papers are one way. That, how, much, how many millimeters would that be? Oh, I have no clue. You 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 tell me. You're you're the one that got the education. 12.2. <laughs> I don't know. You Something are like so that. funny. Okay. Rena says she loves those butterflies. Such a great layout. Yeah, it's really cute. So I didn't. I didn't see your comments. How many of you uh, have already done this sketch challenge? Butterfly. I hear somebody backing. Oh, there it is. It was on a different sheet than I thought it was. All right. Here we go. Oh, that and paper I, looks dirty too. They all look like, I guess you call it the grunge look. How's that? Does that work? Hollywood said I finished up about a half an hour ago. Sounds like our motor home. Somebody's backing up. I don't know where it's at. You left a piece in it, did you? No, I did not. That is definitely a motor home backing up. Could be the new. He does. Oh, yeah, yeah, but. Oh, no. I was doing too much talking and I cut it the wrong direction. <gasps> well, I'm going to cover it with a picture. All right. Kimberly, See what you made me do. Kimberly says, uh, where do you find this sketch challenge? I'm new to Kiwi Lane, so I'm not sure. Um, there was there's a link. There's, there. there's a link up in um, the, the the chats here. I saw him post it. Yeah, so just scroll yeah. back up and it'll be there. And Sherry McDowell wants to know uh, what was the border template? The border template is Paisley Place 3A and 3B. Yeah. says, I'm not sure where I would see them here, but I would love them. Okay. Well, I oops, but I think it's going to be okay because I'm going to put a title. I'll show you what happens when you oops, okay? I want a half inch strip and you had to go a certain direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that like this. But I'm going to cut it because I have a, a thing that goes up underneath here that I want to use. And I'll just move it down. I won't even know it's there. Cassandra says she was late to the beginning. So is the sketch challenge posted somewhere? So it's it's back up further Yeah, if you here. scroll up here, you'll see the link in the comments. I think Sonia posted it. And then share next comment was, oh, and at my scrapbooking night that she was at, 
Uh, she scrapped looked at one of your ideas from a live you did. Ooh, cool. Which one? Which one did you do? Okay, I think I'm gonna ink. I'm gonna put this down real quick, and then we'll go on to the next part. So, what what uh, layout did you use, or what did you? What technique? Technique. There we go. I'm. Oh, FYI, I am not using vintage photo tonight. Or should I? Because there is a lot of brown in that. Okay, guys, I have black soot and I have vintage photo. What do you want? You Maybe vintage photo. One. I don't want blue on it. Are you nuts? You're crazy. Okay, I'm gonna use vintage photo. Can't get past it tonight. Okay, yep, vintage photo is fine. Okay, on this one, I am going to ink. The other one that I showed you, I did not ink this piece, but I want to tonight because Lee says it looks dirty. So I'm going to dirty it some Yeah, more. Kimberly said <laughs> vintage photo. Black is too harsh. The black soot isn't bad. I like hickory smoke, too. That one does really nice. It, I have, I think I have all the distress inks and from she a couple has years ago. She repost it there again. She couldn't scroll up high enough. Oh, okay. We'll get Sonia to repost it. And so it'll be in this video. You could always do the replay too and catch it that way. And it's probably, if you didn't get an email on it, um, you can contact support and ask them to get you get on their email and that way you'll you'll always get it. Okay. Well, and they're new to Kiwi Lane, so yeah. Contact Kiwi Lane there you go. support. Yeah. It's, is it support at kiwilane.com? That's what it is. Support at kiwilane.com. And then I was just saying that generally, if you don't get the emails. But glad to have you aboard. She said she thought of you, she's answering your question about what she scrap lifted is around the time that Kiwi was highlighting the brackets and you use the brackets uh vintage and hallmark along with the money oh. and the hearts and use pieces peaches and greens hers yeah. was a camping photos but uh but uh she did that sketch awesome okay i gotta be careful i'm getting ink on my thinners this paper is so pretty girls deborah says i love you yeah, the lady that I, I saw today, um, she had never seen Kiwi Lane before either. And she kept saying, where can you get those layouts? It's like, you do them yourself. And uh, so the one that I had on display at the store, she wanted to buy. And I was so apologetic because I said, well, that belongs to the store. I just did it for them exclusively. And so. But, but Linda has like two or three very large notebooks. For oh, no. One, two, three, years. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten on that shelf alone over there. Oh, and how many? And how many? And one, two, three, four. Are you talking scrapbooks or notebooks? Notebooks full of your layouts that you've done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've done a lot of them, a lot of classes and things. Yeah, I love to teach. I just love it. So you can ask me anything. You can contact me twenty four seven. Or you can ask me. I taught Linda everything. Yeah, else. he did. <laughs> okay. So some of you know I do this and some of you don't. I ink my photos just a little bit, okay? And why do you ink your photos? It makes them pop and then I don't have to map them. Also, when you cut them, there's white that shows. Yeah, the that too. So, okay, I don't, see, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, there's one. Now look at this one. Look at the difference. Can you see that? I don't know if you can, but I can. And it's a big difference. It just makes the picture give a distinction all of its own. Oh, there's Gracie. FYI, Gracie's over 30 pounds now. She's a she's big a girl. Puppy. She's four months old, for those that don't know. Yeah. We'll be five on the 18th. Doesn't seem five possible. And she's still, still puppy, puppy teeth are coming out. Adult <laughs> teeth are coming in and they're sharp too. <laughs> Poor daddy. He likes to play, but he gets his hand in places that shouldn't be, like her mouth <laughs> in between her teeth. So he kind of gets the blunt end of it. 
awesome. And uh, what else was, I was going to say something about today. What else happened today? Mm. We got up. <laughs> we got up. Yep. We got our, we're getting our motor home ready. We're going to head for a little R&R &R here in a little bit. Actually, not that much R&R. &R. You're going to a scrapbook uh, convention in Schaumburg, Illinois next weekend. Yeah, I'm going to the Scrapbook Expo in Schaumburg, Illinois. So if any of you are going to be there, well, maybe we can hook up. And then I'm going to Lebanon, Tennessee to the CKC convention down there. The week after. The week after. So if any of you are there, look me up. Or, She's going as a participant. Yes, I'm not. I'm not teaching. I, I am not doing that. That's just too much stuff to take that far. And then after that, we're going to have some time with your niece. Yep. yep. And and my son-in-law's parents. We're really good friends with them. They're close to Lebanon, Tennessee, and we may possibly go over a little bit further too. We're not sure yet. So, all right, I'm going to get these stuck down before we go on. And I'm using this ATG gun. And I never used to like it, but now I'm getting really used to it. Oh, I bet I'm going to run out of it. Sheila just said, hey, Kate, CKC Lebanon, I'm going. Really? Awesome. Okay, so we need to meet. I'm going to be there Thursday at the crop. Um starts around 10 yeah well i think it's it i don't know i have to look i'm going to the crop and then i'm going to go to the thursday night um where they do the preview and stuff where they they give you new techniques and they take you in early to shop and all that i'm gonna do that okay i'll watch the dog yeah and then friday i'm gonna go in and shop that's that's about all i can handle i won't go saturday that's just that's a lot of shopping. But I am signed up to take the, it's also Simple Stories. It's the farm, farmer chic, I think they called it. Okay, so this one is gonna go a little bit over top, maybe about a quarter of an inch over top of that seam, okay? That just to cover it well and well no what, what it is is when i put the picture on i don't want the picture to hang down and i i want it to be up a little bit so okay okay you got it all right and terry joined I said i'm late oh you're so fine right. you're fine you're not late you're right Amy on time. wants to know what day are you going to schomburg schomburg same thursday and friday So I'll go to the crop and then um, go to the crop and then I will. Um, but you never know. You go fresh. Dirty. You might just be yeah. all excited. Well, we're supposed to do things with Jacob's parents. So not in Schaumburg, you won't. No, in, in Lebanon. In Schaumburg, we're supposed to meet up with some friends that also motor home. Okay. Remember I told you I had cut it wrong. So this is where I split it because I'm going to put a piece over top of that. And you won't even know it's there. You guys will know it, so shh, don't tell me. <laughs> Wonders of scrapbooking. Sheila says she'll get there at 9 a.m. on Friday morning. She has to teach her first graders Thursday, and then she'll drive to Nashville late Thursday night. Ah, okay. So you're going to go into the early crop, or the early shop? I'm sorry, not crop. Early shop? She's there in Bardstown, Kentucky is where she's coming from. Sweet. Yeah, we're going to stay in Paducah, Kentucky that night for and leave early on that Thursday morning so we can get you there in time. Oh, FYI, we're staying right on the campgrounds there. At the fairgrounds. At the fairgrounds. At the Wilson, is it Wilson County? I think so. Yeah, we'll have a big brown motor home out there. So if you're, if you're close by, stop on over. We'll get you a soda or nice cool Perfect. drink. Yeah. Okay. So there's that one. Now this one. Oh, I'm loving this, girls. Look at this. It's so pretty. I'm glad I gave you all that coaching. Ahead of time. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know you did. Not. But I got to give him credit. He did. He did uh, take care of the puppy all day long by himself, and the dog is still alive. Oh, there. I knew it was going to run out. 
Okay, have you guys ever changed tape at an ATG gun? Well, guess what? You're gonna learn. Watch You're now. gonna learn. Or see what we don't get right. Okay. Dexter said uh, she's Paducah is about 20 minutes from her. We're actually uh, the Duck Creek Campground will be staying, which is kind of on. It's right there in 24. It's kind of on the south side there a little bit. Not too far. There's a love station right out there too, and there's also a Cracker Barrel we used to hit at times. We'll probably skip the Cracker Barrel because we got to get down to Lebanon. Yeah. To the scrapbook event. Okay. Sharon says yes. So I assume that's to the tape on this thing. Yeah. It's not that hard to do except that threading. I think you said it can be. Getting the tape here to get started is the hardest part. Over the top, underneath. Detra says right off X11. That sounds correct. Uh, get it just a little more. There Sarah we go. said yes. It took me a few times before I got the hang of it. It's not the easiest, but you've done it a few times. Yeah. Now, so. I'm getting there. We'll know in a minute if I did it right. But the hardest part is getting this black thing back on. That's the hardest part for me. Okay. Think you got it? We'll see. Yeah, we'll do a little testy test. We got it. Woo! Anybody time me? Should have had you guys time me, see how long it took me to do it. Okay. It's too long. <laughs> Okay, this one I'm going to put right up against the edge of my Sharon says board. she learned from Leslie. Ah. Key. Yep. I haven't heard from her in a while. She's such a sweet gal. Okay. And it goes so smooth when you put a new one in. Okay, make sure I got the butterflies right side up. And I'm going to put this right about halfway over the seam. And you guys can adjust it however you want to. Now, the sketch doesn't have this on there, but I just think it gave it an, a, a nice little nice little finish. Okay, so we have one there, which we need to, we're going to do this one next. Okay, we're going to do this part. So You need to show them the sketch one more time because it was a couple of times okay. late. Here's the sketch. Count Mississippi 1, Mississippi 2. We got such a delay over here. So, okay, now what we're going to use is a four and a half by six and a half photo mat. It's going to go there. And then I'm going to use a four by five photo template. Okay. Then. And the photo goes on the photo mat. Yep. Oh, I didn't get the other tag out. I need the tag, tiny tag, the one with the point. Okay. Now my templates are old, so if you see the rivets, it's because I've had these for a very, very, very long time. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take tags one, put it there, right about there, and tags one T, right there. I mean, you probably can't see that on the cream. So we'll get it, we'll get it cut out so you won't have to look at it. And I think we're going to use well, I leave it out. Where did it go? I got some glitter paper here. You know me and glitter paper. Love me some glitter paper. Oh, and I got that one too. And I've got that one. Oh yeah. And we've got black. Oh, here's what I'm looking for. This one. Where's the other one? Okay. This is from, it's called American Crafts POW Glitter Paper and it's the Jade. That's what I want. I want that one. I got this today. I needed a teal. I looked through my set. In everything I own, you think I had a piece of teal glitter? Nope. Oh, I'm sure we did. We got everything. Nope. I looked through my glitter stock and there was no teal. Here, you can have that. All right. 
This is really thin. I don't know if you can see that. That's kind of nice. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I wanna do, this is by Basil, and it's got the little Swiss dots, the little raised dots. So I'm going to put this four and a half by six and a half photo template. Did you slice like what? Nope, don't have to. All I'm gonna do is mark the corners. And then I'm gonna use my cutter, not my scissors. I would use my scissors, but it's a little slower. So this is a lot faster. Okay. Am I still in frame? You're, that's your job. Make sure I'm still in frame. Close. I'm close? Oh, I don't want to be close. I'm going to be right on. You're fine. Okay. All right. So there's a four and a half by six and a half. Now I'm going to take this one and this is going to be. You have to offer the thickness of the blade though. <laughs> don't do that to me. Okay. I need a four by five. We'll do it another way. We'll just do four by five. We'll cut the five first. All right. And now I'm gonna have to go this way. So I get the four. You guys still with me? Okay. That one is gonna go there. Oh, that's pretty. I really like that, guys. Wish you were here to see it. Okay, so this paper that I have, I got this today too. It says sand it, tear it, emboss it, love it. It's from Coordinations, Core Essentials Collection. On it, it's it's got words that are embossed, sky, peaceful, inspired, safe, serene, pleasant, heavenly, and wine, considerate, tranquil, refreshing, just a whole bunch of words. And I'm like, this is so my granddaughter, Audrey. So we're gonna use this. And I'm gonna put the tag. And since the words are going from left to right, we're gonna make sure our tag is going the right direction. And this is really a very pretty teal. It's just like almost exactly what the uh, paper pack is. Okay. Tag one. This one. Normally we'd cut this out and then roughly and then redo it, but because this is such intricate paper, I'm going to try and be really careful, stay on my line, and stay out of those words. Okay, there we go. And I have to apologize to girls. I haven't got that book posted yet. Uh, it's been a really crazy week so from last time so i will get that done the same time i do this one okay so that's gonna go there now since we have a lot of teal going on let's get us some yellow see what we have for yellow mm -hmm. there's some here whoop, with words on it let's see what we got for words i thought i saw some Thanks for being sweet. You're the zest, live in the sunshine. None of those catch my eye. So let's try another one here. See, I'm exploring this right along with you guys. This is, this is um, what you would normally do. You bought a paper pack. Let's see what this one is. Be sweet and be kind. It's going the wrong direction. You're the zest. You make life sweeter. Hmm. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. I was just trying to see if I could get maybe. Hold on. I got an idea. Let me get my tag. Tiny tag. Where'd you go? There it is. I'm all over the place here. Okay. Sure. So what if, would it fit? Yes, this will fit there. That's really pretty. I don't need the B. That's one thing nice about Kiwi Lane templates when you can see right through them. 
Okay, there's where I'm going. Right there. Just kind of looking through a viewer a little bit. Yeah, that's what's so nice. I love. I never used to do the photo temp templates for the longest time. It was probably a couple of years before I broke down. And said, okay, I, I'm going to give them a try. I don't do anything without the photo templates these days. I used to get on you all the time. Well, how come you don't use those and make it? Yeah, so you easy. did. And all the people on the vendor table, I always used to talk about how you can slide it around over your picture. It's almost like a viewfinder. Yep. You can see it very easily. Okay, we'll see how we have this. Just enough yellow to kind of break it up. Yet it does have a little teal on it. Yep, sure does. Okay, and you're not going to see. Oh, that's nice. You're not going to see the word because their picture is going to be over top. Very nice. Okay. Get these out of the way. All right. So we're going to ink this. We're going to nail it down, and then you know, guys, we are we're over halfway. I think we're all we got to do is the embellishing part now what i call we got quite a few pictures to go down yet yep how many well those would be easy how many of you guys have gotten your august kiwi kit i got mine day before yesterday i'm in love i mean you never think kiwi link can get better and then they just do i mean it's just they're phenomenal so if you guys um uh, don't mind I'm going to use one of the templates from the August kit. I haven't done the August kit yet, but I want to use one of the templates. So I hope you guys don't mind if you haven't got yours yet. I sure would I like to use it. Okay, that's good. Did you like it, Sharon? I can't wait to use it. <laughs> Someone said I got mine yesterday and can't wait to play. Oh yeah, it it is just great. Now that does not look straight. Why does that not look straight? I'm going to fix that. Because that is going to bug me. Tiffany got hers today. Sharon said yes. She liked it. Well, I tell you that they're they're just kicking it. They really are. Okay. I ink. Did I ink that? Don't kick it too hard, though. It hurt your yes, foot. Yes, I did ink it. Oh, I'm going to try my picture. Uh oh. Uh oh, there it is. Okay, we're going to glue these down, put our picture on, and then we're going to start getting some new. Elizabeth says, got mine yesterday, and I love that floor. Oh, I know. Nikki said, she's still waiting. Uh -huh. She's supposed to be here on Monday. Good things come to those who wait, Nikki. Normally, I don't get mine this quick. I'm usually one of the last ones to get it. Okay, let's get this up. I don't need that. Okay, here we go. Just a little bit showing our glitter. This isn't your typical glitter paper. This does not shed, and it's kind of um, very smooth to the touch. It doesn't uh, stick out. Okay, that one. This is going really fast too. I mean, these are, are fun because you don't have to have to design it yourself, but this one is really easy, easy. Okay. Trisha said hers came today and she really likes it. Now we put this one. This is the first picture I'm putting down. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Red poppy says hi, Linda. Hello. Oh, you're fine. Just fine. Pop that. I popped it on the other one. Yes, I do. I know I've already put glue on it, but I think I'm going to pop it. Put some foam dots on it. I did this on the other one. Hi, Red. 
This will take a few. Me, so. I've been loving what you've been posting too, Red. It's you, you do great work. Everybody, you guys, when you post, it's it's inspirational to me too. So I, I thank you for it. it. It just makes me happy when I see you guys do such great work. And I know I'm using quite a few, but I want this picture to yeah, hi from Australia. stand on its own. Oh, from the down under. Thank you for joining us. Okay. I feel like I'm getting out of. Linda wants to know where did you get the glitter paper? Uh, at Scrap Mania at the scrapbook store. And it was Seriously? called, it is called POW Glitter Paper American Crafts Jade. She had a whole bunch of different colors. And um, I've but never. I would imagine you probably get a scrapbook.com or somewhere. Probably. I don't know. I never look for it. So you possibly can. But. And from Australia, I don't know if it's gay or guy, G-A-I. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay. Guy? Is that how you say your name, Guy? Or Jaya? Is it Jaya? Anyway, welcome. Yeah, I love it. I love um, different names from see what all people come up with for naming their children we went very basic <laughs> red says she says thank you i learned from all the kiwi gals doing all the lives look at that oh love it love it love it okay gay. yep pronounced gay. Gay. oh you're so smart see your education worked for you dear yeah so this one i thought it did underneath okay so now what they do on the sketch is they put um tags show the sketch again because you had a couple of years showing okay this is the sketch and then i'll show you the original one that i did and we're doing a variation it's going to be somewhat similar but we're going to do a couple things different okay uh what did i do with here it is okay so I'll show you real quick. So this is the first one. This is from the uh, pretty basically like the original sketch challenge. I did that one today at the scrapbook store. And now we're doing this one. And we're going to vary it just a tad. Okay, so what they did is they put tags underneath. Trish wants to know, are you going to use the dancer a la carte? Not on this one, no. Um, I've got more pictures of her from her dance recital, and I will be using using it on there. You know, of all the templates, to be honest with you, that's the one that scares me the most. I made a lamp leg, or leg lamp, whatever you call it, out of it, out of the template. But I don't know. For some reason, it scares me a bit. Red says, while wow, your pictures and papers are perfect for each other. It took me a, a while to find something that I liked. Okay, so here's where it's going to get different because these pictures are a lot bigger. Well, let me get these up here. This one goes there. This one goes here. And that one goes there. There we go. Okay, because it's a little different, I don't necessarily want to put tags under it all. Okay. But you will look up. But we'll see. Okay, so this is our August template. If you don't want to see what's in there, close your eyes really quick. Okay. Here we go. This is the piece I want to use. Isn't that beautiful? Your title is supposed to go over here, so I want to put that right there. Okay? And then I'll show you the rest of them. Like I said, don't peek yet if you don't want to see. Okay, so they have this. Excuse the ink on my hands. They have a little apple. Have a big apple with seeds and a bushel, bushel basket. I, I 
I'm go I've got some special two bushels of tomatoes that she has. <laughs> yeah, you could use that for your tomatoes. There you go. How was I use the new kit for the sketch challenge? Awesome. Oh, I can't wait to see it. That is going to be phenomenal. Okay, so what I'm going to do is if you guys have still had your monthly kit, the squeeze the day. It has these little lemons. That was May, May 2020. 2020. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I know it's not really lemonade or whatever, but I think I might try. I don't know. I could use butterflies too. Okay, butterflies or lemons? Because I really don't see any lemons on here like I thought. So I guess we're going to do butterflies. I was going to use lemons this. Lemons don't grow in Iowa. Well. Huh. Okay, so I guess do we they? will. No, they don't. I guess you can buy them at the store. Yeah, you can buy them at the store. Yeah. So we're going to go with plan B. We're going to do butterflies. I know which one I want. Do, do, do. It's from another monthly kit. You want to put those back in that envelope. You can do that. I'm going to give you something okay. to do. Okay. From Happy Life, September of 2019. It's the ones that have all of the, um, the different sizes of that. Well, in there is a butterfly. And I think... I want to use this. Simra says butterflies. Butterflies. That's what Hollywood said she's been trying to post, but having some trouble. The folks at Kiwi are trying to help her figure it out. You know, we've got trouble with the photos, putting photos on on the community, and uh, that was why I was one of the reasons why I kind of held off posting. I sure was hoping they would get that fixed. So it just takes time they they have um done a lot a lot in the last year year and a half and um kudos to them for what they do and it just sometimes it just doesn't these don't go in here do they? no those don't go in there so just the okay i think i'm going to do that right there and then what i'm going to do is take the green sparkle put it into the butterfly so we'll get that back. And I think because that'll bring said, over. Yep, that's the issue. No way to post a picture. Yeah. I know. Now the back of this isn't typical paper. So you, you'll have to use like a micron marker to uh, trace it. And it, the microns don't. Um, so talk a little bit about what's the technique you're using here. What do you mean? I'm tracing. I'm Those tracing. Slide. Oh, I didn't do the slide slide flip on this one because it's a. You're not using white though. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Is the butterfly going to be white? No, it's going to be here. But you don't have to do slide slide flip on this because it's not. Um, it's it's not, one directional. It's not. Right. It's multi. Yeah. It's if you were using it just for a template, yeah, you'd want to do the slide slide flip. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to cut him out. This is where we get all of, this is where, where it takes me the longest is to get all the intricate stuff figured out what I want to do. But that's okay. This is supposed to, scrapbooking is supposed to be mentally good for you. Good and for your brain for your and good for your physically. Oh, yeah. I know when I have not scrapbooked because my hands will start to cramp, believe it or not. And then I was taking this last couple of days, well, actually about three days, I took the last of my inventory that I had and put it into class templates. So coming up on September the 18th, I'm going to do a stay and play at the store where you can come in. All you need is your scissors, a cutter, an exact an exacto knife if you want ink other than vintage photo because i'll supply that and any your adhesive glue and whatever and i'm going to take all of my templates that i have from the very beginning and they, they can come and crop from 10 o'clock till five o'clock on that day the only catch is they have to buy all their paper supplies and embellishments from the store so 
I want to, I, I want, I told the scrapbook lead owner, I said, I want everybody to see that you don't have to take a lot to a crop to enjoy the scrapbook. So, okay, I'm going to put black on the inside. Tiffany says, when I'm, uh, I'm stressed, if I go scrap, it relaxes. Yep, exactly. It is. It is the best, healthiest thing for you. Now I am going to turn this in over just in case. I've never used this one before. This is going to take a while to cut this one out, but it's going to be pretty. When I saw this, the other ones, because I was excited when I saw the, the, um, what do you call it? The, the kit, what it was, what it was going to consist of. And so I kind of knew, oh, we're going to get apples and stuff. But then when I saw this template, I'm like, score, that one is fabulous. Or this one is. I, I'm hoping they come out with one like a, uh, what do they call it, mandala and mandala or whatever it is. I, I, I think that would be awesome to have a template so that you can make your own lace doilies. Need some paisley ones then work on some of the shirts like I used to wear. <laughs> we do have paisley. We have two of them. One in Celebrate and one in Tiny Celebrate. With guitars, I used to play have one in Paisley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, um, what else? Seems like there's something else I wanted to tell you guys. Gwendolyn Jackson says hi, Wendy. Hello. Why don't you read up and make sure that you didn't miss any comments or you kept them to yourself and didn't tell me? I've told you. Yeah. Mm, okay. Now these little bitty ones that we're tracing, two options. If you're good with an X-Acto knife, you wanna cut them out, go for it. Me, I'm gonna, tonight, I think I'm going to use black. No, no, he's a punch. He just, no, but you could, you could use punches. You I- Emboss it? No, you can't, well, you could emboss it. No, I'm not gonna emboss it. I thought about that. The next one, we do need to get the embosser back out and do, do some embossing. Okay. Sorry, guys. This one's going to take a while. So you guys, ask me anything you want. What do you guys want to know? Anything about Kiwi Lane? Anything about Lee and I? You ask us. Gwendolyn, hey. Yeah, I said she said oh. hi there just a little bit ago. One of the questions you keep band aids close by with those little scissors when you wear bifocals in case you cut yourself. No. Oh, that was for me. <laughs> yep. With with Gracie Darlene around. says, I'm just joining. Where do you guys live? Cedar Rapids, Iowa. We are the second largest city in the state. We're. Not too far, maybe an hour, 15, hour and a half from Dyersville, the Field of Dreams. Did you guys see that the other night where the White Sox and the Yankees played at the Dyersville? Field of Dreams. Yeah. Yes. We're not too far from there. And we're about, see how far are we from Des Moines, the state capital? A couple two hours. Two hours. Yeah. And John Wayne's uh, boyhood home is right out there. We have the bridges of Madison County. You guys have probably heard that. From the movies. Yep. Uh, there's been a lot of movies. Uh, what was the one down in Norway? What was that one called? The baseball team. Yeah. With the kids where they're gonna close the school, but they went on and won the state. Yeah. Based on a real coach that grew up there, so. We've had a lot of movies here. Larissa says, never done a live before. How often are they done and where? Okay. Would I find info a schedule, please? Okay. In the Kiwi Lane community, there is an events page. You can look there. You can also on this site, Kiwi Lane Designs, they post the the craft ends and 
Uh, you can always contact me or any other creative partner and we can tell you what's going on. Uh, Lee and I, we try to do one, at least one or two a month. We do, we'd love to do more, but we don't want to take it away from everybody else because there's a lot of creative partners out there that do great, great lives. Um, what else can I say? Some creative partners uh, sometimes get nervous about doing them, but there's really not a lot to them. It's not like you're on a camera or anything. It's just doing what you do and yeah. having a discussion, even though you don't hear what people say. But uh, a lot of them do it by themselves. They don't have a helper. Lee, he's great. He he helps me out just about every time. And uh, um, I appreciate that. I really do. So. Cause I can get distracted really easy. <laughs> I'd be reading one of your comments. It's like, oh, I should get back to scrapbooking. So it's kind of like that walk along, walk along. Oh, squirrel, that's me. So. Uh, Kathy says, I judge a gymnastic meet very close to there. Ah. And actually University of Iowa is only about 20 miles away, south right. of us down Interstate 380. Our daughter went to you and I, and our son went to Iowa State. We didn't have any of them go to the Hawkeye one. Yep, and actually, if you go up uh, Cedar Falls and Waterloo, that's a pretty famous town from way back. And yeah, we have. And we're probably two hours from the Mississippi River. Yeah, we used to live on the Mississippi River, yeah. Comanche. Oh golly, this one's bad. Trisha said, "I've been to the Field of Dreams twice. First date movie." Married 30 years, watched the beginning of the game. Did you go to um, the Ertl Toy Museum there? Well, there used to be a little country uh, restaurant out there along US 20 yeah. that had good apple pie there. Mm. Yeah, that's been a while since that movie came out. Yeah, Kevin mm -hmm. Costner was actually at the uh, baseball the game last year. Yeah. I'm going to do the. And Gay dance. says, How are things with the pandemic? Australia has just gone back into lockdown, so I'm back to doing Zoom crops and classes, virtual events, et cetera. Good times. Well, I will tell you, there's a lot more businesses that are requiring masks. Again, that just happened this last. This, this last week or this, this week that we're there's in. There's a lot of hot areas in the U.S. Yeah. that are kind of going back and just trying to be careful of what's going on um lee he's been vaccinated um i didn't because um i had covid and i don't know i've had heart issues so i really don't want to until a little bit more like yeah. certification or knowledge on it but so linda wears the mask um, yep. we were heading back kind of for the office where i work at but they we're kind of taking a pause. We just have to, everybody has to go slow. You got to be smart and um, protect, protect yourself and your families. I mean, that's the big things to look at. Yeah. Our son, he was vaccinated. Um, so. Simra said, used to live in Ames for about four years. Now in Ooh, Florida. You ever been to Hickory Park? Yeah, One of our favorite places yeah, to go. Our son's going to school there. It looks cool there. Uh, Kathy oh, said, we flew to Cedar Rapids and judged in a really cute town with a brand new stadium. Yep. It had a basketball uh, tournament going on and a set for hockey as well. And we had uh, a major flood in 2008 here that hit the news. And then we had a uh, derecho a year ago. That took out about 70 some percent of our trees in the town. That was terrible. We we lost seven here. Big ones. Yeah, our shades kind of went. Bizarre. Lisa said, I did not get on the live at the beginning. So I was wondering where you got the sketch from for this layout. Okay, in the comments previous or after you get done watching this, you should be able to catch it. And there might be a link posted at the end. Um, um, so it's in it's in here, and I'll make sure that they they attach it to the video. And then here is the sketch, right here. 
And then I actually did the pretty close to the original. I did this one. I, I made these so they come out and I put little words about my granddaughter. Funny, sweet, lovely. And that was the one you did. With this the is the one I did yourself. with the challenge. Yep. Yeah. And then um, this one is cute. This one is smart. And then the gold one says one year. Whoops. One year. And I put tags, um, the little holes in the tags and put ribbon on it. And then put some extra little doodaddies. So. And this template is from uh, Cherish. The accessories cherish, and then it was a little short, so I just did the one end, and then did the other end where I wanted it, and then I put a ruler and lengthened it in the middle. So Sarah that's Rose says yes, we loved it. They're the ones who lived in Ames. You ask if they've been to Hickory, Hickory Park. Park. <sighs> and Red Poppy said, "Oh, that's cute," because she hadn't seen that ah. one that you did earlier. I'll post both of them. And I, I, like I said, I apologize. My book has not been posted from the last one. So I was kind of hoping they'd get the pictures thing done in the community and get it fixed, but still a little off yet. Okay, so that one, the butterfly, it's gonna look like that. And then, okay, let's see. Gotta make sure I do this in the right order. This one goes at the bottom. This is my first time using this template from our August monthly kit. And I can see now it's going to be used a lot. Oops, did get that one cut. And that would be of August 2021, correct? <laughs> I had to think, yes, August of 2021. The one you just got two days ago. Yes, I was so excited. Oh, so excited to get it. And then have you guys got some of the new product, the new releases yet? There's Tiny Season, Tiny Plants, Farmstead, the Pickup. There's Harvest, which is the pumpkin. Um, let's see. What Kimberly else wants there? to know, is the butterfly from a monthly kit club? Yes, it is from, let me get back out. Happy Life, September, 2019. It was the one that had, let me pull a couple out. Okay, hold it. it had the various sizes of these templates called the bouquet. It also came, oh, if you got that, I didn't even forgot about this one. It also has the ribbon a la carte. So you could use that over here too, if you wanted to. If you don't have cherish and you have this one. And don't forget, if you guys are a monthly kit club member, you can get all, if you haven't shopped, you get 10% off of everything you purchase, excluding the kit clubs. I don't think those count. So. And you could always uh, reach out to you or go out to your yep. site. If they aren't on a monthly kit club, they want to see what some of the things are. Yep. Or you there. can message me. Like I said, I'm available 24 seven. So, and that is really true. I have, because we have friends over overseas and sometimes they, they sleep different than we do. So I tell them just contact me whenever. Okay, I hope I'm getting these right. Well, it'd be like, hey, let's see, depending on where she's at there, she's, I'm not, I don't remember where Australia is on the international oh, day but it's definitely several hours then from here, it's probably the morning. Yeah, what time is it there in Australia? And have you, how is your pandemic there? I, there was some place. She I, said they were going back in lockdown. Oh, I was going to say, I heard some place was going back in lockdown. I didn't know if it was Australia. But oh, I'm so sorry. I really am. That stinks. Yeah, it's 10, 15 a.m. on Sunday morning. There. Yeah. Lee and I have a busy day tomorrow. We are going to go pick up a side of beef. We buy a half a cow every year. And it's a Christmas present to our kids. They get meat in July or August for their Christmas present. Or September, present. depending on when you're just not my picture. Yep. 
So we get the stew meat, the minute steaks. No, we get more the, than that. the things, but. It's all good. Our son and his family, they just love the brisket. And our daughter, she loves just roast. She likes potatoes and carrots and a roast. Yeah. It's nice because they like different cuts, so. Okay. Whew. I am not inking these little babies. They're going to stand alone. Well, they're black, so they the ink would not have a lot of effect. On mm, that's them. not true. It does. It has some, but not. Okay, I'm missing one. What one am I missing? I'm missing this big one right here. I must have cut it somewhere and it disappeared. Okay, so I got to do this one. Phew, this, this is the little bitty ones take the longest. Sorry about that, guys. Because it's still better than trying to cut those holes out. <laughs> well, I'm pretty good with an X-Acto knife, to be honest with you. But Linda mm -hmm. does by cutting out the black paper to make it look like you cut it out. Yep. Okay, glue. I'm going to use Art Glitter Designer Clear Adhesive. If it's going to be nice to me. You put it on your fingers first and rub it on. I have done that, but I'm not doing that now. Oh, it's too easy. Then I know I'll get it. So you guys have a favorite adhesive that you guys like? I oh, just come. <laughs> I just come across this actually about a year ago. Because I have been, well, I use Gina K glue. That one's not so bad. But I've always used, oh, what's it called? It's like a, well, it, it's white with green on the ends or clear with blue, that company. You guys kind of know what that is. But when I found this one, this, I mean, it sticks like now. Red uses art glitter glue. That's what I got. Yep. That's what I got. Best glue I've ever Simmer, come across. Says I use uh, the art glitter also. Do you guys have that little tip on there? That I, you buy that extra, but it gives you the little point. And then it has in the lid, I might have showed you guys this before. In the lid, it has a metal piece. And then that goes inside that, so it never clogs up. Okay. Hollywood says she usually uses <gasps> the... The Tombow liquid glue. That's it. That's what I always used. likes hearing of other choices. Yeah, Tombow. That's what I used to use. Gase's mono glue. I love it too. She's, you know, in Australia. Yep. Use that. And Kristen says zip pins. She loves using those. Yep. Got a couple of those. The zig pins. Marion Stanley says art glitter is the best. <sighs> okay. Kristen said zig, not zip. Yep. Zig. Spell check. <laughs> Well, I might have read her wrong too. Uh, Gwendolyn says, I bought some barely art the other day to try, but I have Tombow green glue and art glitter. Yep, the Tombow's what I used on the green. Elizabeth says, I like the Scotch tacky glue. I think it has a different name now. I buy the nozzles from a separate company, and I think I have a different glues and tapes for different things. Now, this glitter one is a little more rough. I'll tell you what worked good is when I took your fried chicken, I get it on my fingers, it is sticky. <laughs> You're up on Kentucky fried. Well, you know what kind of adhesive? Oh, really sticky stuff sometimes. my goodness. How did you get off on there? Oh, I hear Gracie. She's in playing toys. Okay, I got to follow this. So that goes here. Okay. I think this is the hardest piece out of the whole thing. I'm not going to get it exact by looking at it. Well. Red says, have you ever had problems with Zig keeping a quarter inch strip stuck down? Yes. And Marion says, where do you get the nozzles? Um, well, I got them at the scrapbook store. Um, I'll tell you what it is here in a second. They're, they're, it's actually a different brand. And Gay says CTMH liquid glass. Great for everything, even repairs around the home. Hmm. 
Never heard of that one. Is that close to my heart? Is that what that is? Go back. Read that again. What was it? Close to my heart. Okay. Okay, that's CTMH. I guess I didn't even think of that. Yeah, close to my heart. Elizabeth like my KFC because it does work well. It goes there. And Kristen says she uses her tape runner for yeah. strips. Okay. Thank you, Gay. Says yes, it is. Got to get my glue remover. There we go. You like that whip? <laughs> it is whipped. Sorry about that. I just chucked it off to the side. Okay, this one goes here. Oh, I know I was going to tell you guys. So Lee and I, we uh, kind of like to watch series, right? We got our in, or we are into Downton Abbey. Have you guys ever seen Downton Abbey before? Oh my goodness. Yes, my lady. <laughs> we are hooked on it so bad. Okay, now I'll find my other little pieces here. Oh, is this the last one? Tell me it's the last one. Ugh, I think it would be easier. He said it's cut. fab, so I assume it means it's fabulous. Kristen says, I love that one. We, we're on series four right now. I think, yeah, like number three or something like that. Well, no, we just switched to four. Why does that not look right? That is right. That one, that one, that one. Oh, oh. Red says, I loved it. We're re-watching it for the 10th time with my hubby. Well, a lot of my background is English, Scottish, and a little bit of Irish, and a little bit of Heinz 57 in there, too. But a regular mutt. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Okay, that looks better. Lady. <sighs> I may be. Okay. Ooh. All right. So I'm not doing that one again for a while. Woo. All right. Now we gotta do these tags. Get the pictures down. I can go ahead and do that. Let's get these down. Oh, you want to know what the honey over there. In see where the pink mat is? No. Right. Where, the pink that? mat right there is facing it. The pink mat. Okay. Right behind it, there's a package with one of those knobs in it, the tops. If you want to grab that so we know what it is, you can't miss it it's right there. And if you don't want to, I can get it in a minute. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> Lee, do you like Tom Branson? Yeah, he's kind of the rebel, isn't he? Um, yeah, he's good. No, Not Tom me. isn't. Tom is the the chauffeur. You're thinking Barrel. You're thinking Tom. No. Thomas? I'm thinking of Tom Branson. Remember, he was the socialist. The chauffeur. Yeah. yeah. When it kind of started. But yeah, it's really good. In Australia, Gay says, you would be called a bits of bits of everything. <laughs> a bits of it. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Okay. Oh, Miss Gracie's not happy, is she? Oh, well. She wants to join. Oh, and that um, squeeze the day, is that what, or what was it? The one with the lemonade thing. That little picture that I had out before, the picture template. Um, I'm going to make a shaker out of that. So you guys have ever made shaker cards or anything like that? I'm going to try that and I may still stick it on here somewhere. I don't know. Okay. Thank you. That's what I want. Okay. Scrap perfect. No plug writing cap is what it's called. It's fit $5 and 99 cents. Okay. And they give you an extra tip in case you clog. Okay. Those are down. Let me get these down. And then I need to come up with the title. It's 
still don't know what I want to do there. Okay, there's that one. He so, says loves the shakers are so interactive. Yeah. That's what my class was on today was shakers. Limited people to participate, so <laughs> limited. Well, so Red wants to know who makes that beautiful paper. Oh, simple stories. Let me get these down and I'll show you real quick. Oh, there is an extra one. Okay, so where does that one go? Oh, found another little black piece. Okay, so yeah, this. Elizabeth said simple stories. Gay said, What's your giant tape runner brand? ATG. Which stands for Advanced Tape Glider, right? Yep. By Scotch. Okay. See if we got them all in. Nope, they're all there. I don't know where that one come from. Huh. They had babies. They had babies. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> okay. Well, they got an extra one that's there. Okay. All right, I think I'm gonna glue that one down in a little bit. Let's get this butterfly down. Yeah, this ATG gun, it's awkward, but it holds a lot of tape and it's the least expensive as far as adhesive. But it really sticks. And it really sticks. It costs $2.99 for a refill. Okay, now put this one down. I'm going to put another butterfly over there and one over here. These, I'm only going to tape on two sides and the bottom because I want to be able to tuck those tags. Just a little bit of an angle. Picture is crooked. I want it crooked. I want a little crooked. Okay. I'm doing it on purpose here. I did. Gay said, "Which be about eight to ten dollars in Australia." Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Red wants to know how long it take you get used to the huge ATG. Honestly, about a week. It really did. It took me but about. But you're a week. using almost every day that week, though. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so these we need to get some paper. But you used to have those little tabs you used to use to stick with that at the time. Yeah. You can keep up doing the kind of stuff you're doing now. Okay. Let's do this one out of this. You guys want to you wanted to see what paper I was using. It's called Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Lemon Twist. Twist, twist. <laughs> Lee says it's dirty because there's uh, a lot of distress marks, I call them, grunge. It looks kind of like when it's laid too close to something else and the ink was wet and it kind of <laughs> smeared on it. It does, I have to admit. It does. From the angle I'm at, anyway. And then um, after I get this all done, I'm going to do some doodle work before I post it. But I won't make you guys watch all that. I'm just grabbing. The so says, like the Grinch look. <laughs> all right here. Should we do that one? I'm just looking here, girls. Just looking at what the choices are. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see Grunge what else we got. Is what she meant to say. Oh, I got Grunge. what she meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this one. We'll do this one. Marion says, uh, and that one. Marianne says, I have trouble loading the ATG. The adhesive sticks together and then it ruins the whole refill cartridge. I used to love using it, but now I have switched to other adhesives. 
Well, if you go back and you watch the video, you'll see Linda changing it out on this. Yep, one. I did. I changed it out. So, okay, that one's done. I but I remember this one. your first couple times, it was not pretty. No, I was yelling. I hate this thing. I don't want it. Why did I spend the money on it? Oh, yeah, that was not a happy camper. And they're like $30 for them. But I kept running out of the other ones. I really like the Gina K. They're small, tiny, they work really well. But, but it would have cost a lot more in Australia. <laughs> He's never gonna forget that, you know. Yeah, I'd have to remember to go back, see, it was almost three times. So yeah, it'd be almost a hundred bucks. Oof. Oof. Bless your heart. I wish we could ship stuff to you. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, we're just about done here. This one I am going to cut out first. We're going to go like this. At least double with the exchange rate. So I was off uh, a little bit more like 60 then. So I want to ask you, when you said that they were going to shut you down because of the pandemic, does the lockdown, does that mean? You have to have your groceries delivered, or is there certain places you can go as long as you wear a mask? Or what does that mean in your country? How much does a Gina K adhesive cost? The refills are like eight bucks for two. And then I don't remember what the single one is. Right now, my store has buy three adhesives, get one free. So I stocked up on my ATG and got a couple of Gina Ks because I let my granddaughters use that while they scrapbook. Red said, I've been using the Glue Glider Pro, and that's the biggest size I've been able to use so far. Glue Glider. I'm not familiar with that one. I had a really nice one, or still have it, one from Anna Griffin. And I think it's made by Zyron. But the refills are hard to find. So that's what happens when you buy specialty stuff. Ooh, wrong ink. Almost grabbed the black soap. Okay. Get these inked up and get them up underneath. And see if you guys think you want to put ribbons on this one too, like I did the other one. I have yellow and I've got teal ribbons that are just. Gorgeous. You let me know if I should do ribbons or leave it plain. While we're waiting for the response uh, on Dalton Abbey, the one I kind of get the biggest kick out of is Robert's mother. Oh, yeah. Uh, the older woman. She just gets so Isabel? dramatic. Yes. Is that her name, Isabel? I think that's the other one, but yeah, she gets so dramatic. Oh, girls, what are you thinking? Gay says, we're allowed to go get groceries or essentials only. Oh, Mask outside the house, work from home, one hour a day for exercise, stay within five kilometers from home, no visitors. And Nikki says, ribbons, yes. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, before I muddle anything else up, I need to do... I need to do another butterfly or two on this side. Okay, I'm gonna cut. I'll, I'll cut them out. If we use them, that's fine. If we don't, that's fine too. But I'm gonna trace them, get and cut them, cut them out so we can play. Elizabeth says, "Beautiful." We don't do anything with lemonade much. I mean, we like lemonade, but I don't have any pictures with lemonade. And as soon as I thought saw the squeeze, the, you know, the squeeze the day, I'm like, oh, that might be. I'm gonna have to do that. Might be a little challenging. But then I come across these pictures and this. Well, we've been to places that just you fine. know make only lemonade now. We always don't have pictures. Yeah, that's true. Right. And you got the green going the right way? These are glitter. Okay. But thank you for asking. I'm just checking. Yeah. See, he is smart, girls. Look at there. If I got the green going the right way, of course I have the green going the right way. Well, there's green and glitter. 
Glitter green. Glitter green. I'm not sure. Okay, I'll cut these out. Boy, this is really floppy. I'm used to my thicker paper, but I probably should put that. It's almost like there. a foil paper. Yeah, this one's a little thicker. This one's by Design Design Your Life Best Creation Incorporated is the gold one. Whew, got a hot flash all of a sudden. Does something whatever incorporated that sounds like what was the show with the the two ladies? Shirley Laverne and Shirley Haas and Pepper Incorporated. Yeah. Hey, we're aging ourselves, you know. Maybe. We've been married <laughs> 42 years. So. Yeah. How long have we been together, though? Oh, I stumped him. He's counting. Yeah, I know how long. <laughs> how long. 45 and a half years. 45 and a half years. That's a long time. 45 and a half years. Where's the time gone? It just feels like yesterday. Might be 46 and a half. It's really nice when you can wake up next to someone you really like. And love. He says, Lee's the best helper. He might be a keeper. Oh, I think so too. I was going to do pictures with him and when we first got Gracie and put on this paper, but uh, it just didn't look right. I needed some, I'm still looking for the right paper for that. So. He says, since F Troop. I remember F Troop. Oh, yeah. Hogan's Heroes. That's what the good stuff I, we actually were camping somewhere that had hogan's heroes on i watched that when i was scrapbooking while you were at work clink yeah and what was the what was this sergeant schultz, schultz. i know nothing <laughs> yeah exactly yeah but actually married for 42 years here in july so yeah you know what we did on our anniversary we're with you guys. We did a live. We did a live. We did a live. It was fun. It's really nice when, I mean, Lee has always been um, happy about my scrapbooking and, and he works a little with ancestry. And when he has time, he works a lot. He works really hard. But build power plants, basically. Yep. Work for the local utility and I'm the VP of construction, so we build solar, wind, gas plants, worked on coal plants to go back in time. Now I'm shutting down the coal plants and tearing them down and That's sad. looking at batteries and storage and all kinds of new smart things. Smart guy. Married a smart guy. Let me see green hydrogen coming. Actually, I've uh, even heard people talk about batteries that are coming that actually burn rust. Really? Yeah. Burn yes. rust. Yeah. It's an oxidation, which is a burning. Okay. All right. So yeah, ribbons. It says their anniversary is on Monday, 47 years. Woohoo! Congratulations. That's amazing. All right. Where'd I put Gay said that's something? interestingly. Yeah, I had some friends that worked on a plant in Australia, clear up on the northern part. I don't remember what cities up there. Is that Perth, maybe? I, I don't recall. Anyway, it's a large sure. LNG facility oh, and had to have is. a big, large uh, right power here. plant with it and everything, so. Okay. All right, ribbons, ribbons. We got ribbons. Wait to see this, girls. Ooh, it's so pretty. Did you just buy that today? Yes, this? I did. I did, I did, I did. Okay, so we have this lighter one. We have the darker one, which is the one I think I'm leaning towards. And we have a yellow. That one's pretty too. It's between them two. This one I don't want. Oh, guys, you gotta check this out. I got this all at the scrapbook store. Layout. Look at this here. Look at that. Can you guys see it? It is, it's like straw, like straw on a twine. I thought about it on this one, but I think I'm going to save it and do it for another line. Yeah, like a Halloween or something. Well, I'm thinking Western. When we went out, did the Western, the, the ranch thing here a few months so ago. What was it called? <laughs> I don't. It's called a chuck wagon. Oh, yeah, we did a chuck wagon show and dinner. <laughs> in what town were you in? Oh, Lord have mercy. Rapid City? 
and what state? South Dakota. Okay, girls, I know I don't know which one to do. Do a little bit of each. Hmm. You tell me. I don't know. I got to get my whole Use punch. the red one. I don't have a red one. What do you mean use a red one? Oh, I'm getting stuff all. Perth is on the western side of Australia, so it wasn't that. Okay, I'm going to punch a hole. Yeah, this was way up on the north side. This is just a normal punch, girls. Nothing fancy schmancy. So you don't have to. So you must be it. close to Sydney then. That's what I'd take a game. Nikki agrees with me. She said that's a hard choice, both with a question mark. Mm. Could you do half and half, like take it and then glue it on so you'd have it like so many couple inches of yellow and a couple inches of the teal, you know, kind of do. Know. Or you could cut it lengthwise, glue it the whole way so it's like parallel. I'm not gluing. No, I'm not gluing. Not gluing it. I think I'm going to use Gigi the dark says teal. mix both together. <laughs> Nikki says yellow in the gingham and the black teal teal in the yellow. Okay, so mix them. So yellow in this one, teal in this one, and what in the black one? So if we do maybe another yellow, yellow. in the black, yellow in the and black the gingham. Okay, well teal let's see what yellow. we can do. And if that don't work, then you can tie them together, braid them, yeah. and then you can. I guess I should be quiet. You do have sharp scissors in your hand. <laughs> Honey, I would never hurt you. You know that. I don't want to hurt me. Just make you mind. Me. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. You know me better than that. I wouldn't be hurt you for nothing. Okay, so you guys watching how I'm doing this, right? I folded it in half, poke it through the hole. I got my loop, and then I'm just going to go right through the loop with the loose ends. This is where you got to be careful. You want to pull it very gently so it doesn't rip the hole in your tag or you'd be cutting a new tag and then i'm going to take those go one two i'm doing them the same direction usually i'll do them opposite i'm good oh i like he this said she's four hours from sydney she's in canberra which is the capital of australia similar to our washington dc hmm. cool Oh, baby puppy. You're with the leaders of the country. Okay. Oh, wait. We said yellow. I cut an extra teal. <gasps> Oops. Yellow goes in the gingham and the black. Yeah. Oops. Teal will go in the yellow. Yeah. Maybe I have to do a tag on the other side. We'll see. I didn't do gingham on that side. Maybe I should do another one, but I wouldn't use teal. You're having a discussion with yourself. I'm discussing with myself. <laughs> you start answering your own questions. Yeah. This is really pretty ribbon. I used this on um, my calendar card book today. Made. Same ribbon. It was kind of a goldish, brownish orange. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Then you're going to have two yellow together. So I'm going to have to move that there. Put the yellow over there, right? Or I could use the other one. I have three. Let's use the other ones. Ta da, ta da, ta da. Better find the end of it. Somewhere there's an end. There we go. Red says she loves the ribbon. Oh, this is so pretty. Can you guys see the design of it? Nope. It's scrolling. It's like it's a scroll. Like really the density really. scrolls, you mean, or is this you mean no. scrolls like one side the other? They call it a certain thing. Um, oh shoot, it's like, like the, uh, like a film. No, what did they call it? I want to say like a, a flourish. I think is what it is. So, do the third one. See how this works. I might like this better. So careful. Squiggles. Gates. No, I think it's called flourish. That's what I'm going with, and I'm sticking to my story. Squiggles don't sound bad either. Because I don't have okay. a clue. Swirls, Marianne. 
Swirls? Yeah. Swirls, that's what I get in my ice cream. I like chocolate and vanilla no, swirls. You do. All right. Well, we got to figure out. A chocolate oh, milkshake. I told him to make it with half vanilla because I like it. Not so strong a chocolate, but I do like chocolate. So. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should pop this one. Let's pop dot it. Find my pop dot. There we go. Oh, they still got some on this one yet. Doesn't the milkshake sound good? No, chocolate malt sounds good. Chocolate milkshake? Eh. I don't like the way you do it because it's too weak. It's like drinking melted chocolate milk. We might still be able to get to the ice cream store after this. We have a place called Parlor City in town. <gasps> they make this one, they make different flavors, but the one I like is called Angel Food. They have a, a cake one. It's a yogurt. Right? Yeah, it's yogurt. And they have one. The other day I noticed it said strawberry butter. And I'm like, oh, that, that, that one, I think I'll pass on that one. But they have flavors from huckleberry to, I don't know. I'm probably overkill with those, but I got another idea with these two I'm gonna use. You guys still hanging with me? Or are you guys ready to call it a night? I've got about 10 minutes and we'll be on two hours. So I don't wanna. Thick shake with extra chocolate flavoring. Yeah, uh, Linda likes doing the malt and she tells them. Extra you know, malt. Extra, extra, extra malt. <laughs> I go from extremes, from cremated bacon to. 4x malt. Red says, okay, I'm coming to the ice cream place. <laughs> it is pretty good. It is really good. There's two uh, um, two of them in town, one on this side of town and then one on the east side of town. Hollywood said, still hanging with you. Okay. Krista said, I'm scrapping with you, so I'm good. Woohoo! What are you working on? Are you doing the monthly kit? Are you making one with the sketch challenge? What you guys up to? I already took that one off. Ooh, sticky. Jay says, I like cremated uh, bacon too. <laughs> Woo, I'm not the only one. Yay. Okay, I need one more pop dot. Wendelin Jackson says, I'm still hanging with you. Keep going. Okay, we're almost there. Okay. Oh, 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 let go, let go. Uh, I don't want you there. Woo. Sticky little dude. Yeah, when you got a lot of them, it gets that way, don't it? Well, once you touch it, it's going to stay wherever you put it. Kathy said, I'm doing the sketch with you. Yay. Did you guys see the prizes that they're giving away during this thing? Red says, I'm working on the sketch challenge with you also. Oh, my gosh. The prizes they got. Woo. Amazing. Lee, do you remember what all of them were? At least some One of them. One was your supply of paper. Boy, that would be nice. That. Nikki said, I like chocolate vanilla swirl too. And I'm with Linda on the extra, extra malt vanilla, please. <laughs> I like this one. Hollywood says they're amazing. Okay. Here's a what the we're going to do. what you're using. Okay. I'm orange using. Bling, bling. No, it's not orange. It's yellow. Yellow okay, bling. It looks orange to me. I don't remember who makes it. I'll try to find out. But um, I used it in my book. But um, it's like a dollar, a buck and a half. No, it's like a buck and a half for the package of gems. It's pretty, pretty cheap. Uh, Linda likes the bling bling stuff. And she might even add a little more after we're done. And she'll also do, uh, what do you call that? The stitching you'll do with a pencil. Yeah, my doodle work. My doodle work. Well, it makes a difference when you do things like this. It just kind of, it makes it your own, you know. It makes you, it from good to great. Yeah, there you go. Sound like a politician now, don't I? <laughs> just a tad. I like that, guys. Ooh, I like that very much. And I need to put some on this side. They don't, it doesn't show up on the screen very good, though. I'll, I'll put, I'll raise it up. Yeah, I have to get the light to kind of reflect off it a little bit. I'm going to put some on this. And these have three sizes of the bling. Okay. I like that a lot. 
Okay, I need to do the black of the butterfly, the insides. See if I got enough on this. Cut them and then stick them down. I'm gonna pop one and stick the other one down. And then it's done all but the doodle. And the title. And the title. Yeah, what am I gonna title this? I gotta think of that. Kristen says beautiful layout. Thank you. What colors are you working with, Kristen? Or what paper are you working with? All right, let's see if we can get these cut out real quick. How fast can I go? Be careful of those little scissors. No, it's big ones you gotta worry about. I don't know, those little ones can <laughs> cut just as deep. One. Did you guys ever scrapbook when you were younger? Like teenage Kristen's years? Doing chicken paper, farm <gasps> paper. Ooh. She needs that pickup truck and she, maybe she's already got it. Yeah, I thought about incorporating the farmstead in one of these. Have you guys done it yet? I used it in, in my book and it, it was so much fun. I, I, I know I'm gonna be using it at Christmas time, making the Hallmark red truck. Well, we did the 1880s town as we were heading out to Rapid City. And there's probably some things from there we could actually do. Oh, yeah. Like when I was drinking my Sarsaparilla at the... <laughs> at the saloon? At the saloon. Have you guys ever been to the 1880s town out around South Dakota? It has some of the dances with wolves, um, memorabilia, another... Is Kevin Costner movie? Isn't it? Isn't it? It's a, uh, no, it's not. Who is it does that? Who does that? I thought it was in it. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, I gotta get some I was not yet, but I plan on using it lots. Okay, I've used that black. There is no more of that black, so I gotta get another piece of it off over here. Ariel says the first scrapbook I made is when I was in high school. Kristen said I started scrapbooking in middle school 20 something years ago. Wow. I started scrapbooking in 1998 did well my very very first scrapbook actually was for driver's ed you had to make a scrapbook and if you didn't didn't you didn't get your license the guy would not pass you sarsaparilla is just so wrong on all levels <laughs> wrong I oh come on I can agree. sometimes it is oh. and yes it was costner I, I knew it was i remember seeing yeah they're there they have memorabilia there but they they have like the animals and stuff like that were on the set. My goodness, they look like real, like Buffalo and the horse and all that stuff. But there was another place we went to at that chuck wagon place. They had, they actually did some of the scenes there. So they had some memorabilia there. Sandy says, trying to figure out how to make two photos fit the sketch. Two photos? Just like two, no more? Well, I think she's trying to get them to fit right. You just have to trim them a little bit, maybe. So. Yeah. Did you write the 1880s train? No, no it wasn't. Even, it wasn't. It wasn't going on the no. day there, but. Uh, it actually we, was a restaurant, did, but it wasn't even open. Well, no, there was the engine over there a little bit further, too, that they had. But, uh, there is a train there that we wanted to do. It goes through the woods and stuff, but. Red said she did scrapbooking when she was younger, literal taping rid ridiculous things in my scrapbook. <laughs> and the pages were almost like construction paper. That's yep. the way all the albums were. Yep, I remember that. Kind of a tan newspaper -y kind of a thing. Yep. Stacy said I started making cards in 2005, scrapbooking in 2007. Sweet. You know, I never really got into cards till about two years ago. And then I start making them and Sandy said only two photos first day of school. Mm. Nikki said yes, it's a nice ride. We've done it a couple times. Hmm. Well, we've been there twice and we still haven't seen everything. We went with a couple friends who had never been there. And uh they 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 closed the the dress up part where you could wear the clothes. They closed that up because of the pandemic. Well, and the other part is now the pandemic started to release, but they can't get any help. It's like everywhere else, yeah. you know, you can't find people to work. So, yeah, that's really bad. We have um, hiring signs just about every business here in town, and that's a lot of, a lot of business. A lot of them are restaurants and so forth. Some of them fast food. Some are 
you know, actual restaurant restaurants and just can't get help. Or they, they come and they work, but they don't stay. They'll come a little bit and decide, up. Oh, don't like that. Get on we even had a little bit of a gas shortage not too long ago with Casey's on some of the stations. They have trouble getting truck drivers. There was no shortage at the terminal. Just can't get drivers to drive trucks. And the yeah, said same in Australia. It's hard to get staff. It's like, where are all these people gone that were working before the pandemic? Hopefully they aren't the ones that are past. Yeah, I wouldn't think. Some could be, but I think some people are, you know, it's concerning, you know. Okay. We are just so close to being done. All but the doodle. Detra says, did you uh, ever think you would see the day when there'd be more jobs and workers? Nope, never. And yet I still understand why we say there's still a certain level of unemployment because it seems like there's more than enough work. It's, but I get it. Some jobs aren't really, might not be able to sustain you. you know. Yeah. We, uh, Sorry, I'm taping this off. Probably camera, you can't see it, but I didn't okay, want to do it. said in Australia paper. last year, the government gave a stimulus package, and now they don't want to work. It yep, kind same of similar here. here too. They had yep. it where um, if you paid rent, you wouldn't, you couldn't be, what do you call it? No. Evicted. Evicted, yeah. So if you can't be evicted, people probably quit paying their rent for a while. They figure they could get by, so they didn't need the money. And then also, there's some people. With some of the stimulus money got from the government, they could survive enough and just elect not to work, go fishing, or do whatever it is they want to do. So, yeah, it's a shame. But it's different all over. So, oops. He said, same here. Detra, thumbs up. And you're putting, uh, Little uh, pop dots. Pop dots. That's it. Yep. Little square Duma hickeys. Susan, the president of Kiwi Lane, loves her pop dots. You used them before she did, though, I think. Oh, I've been using them for years. I've actually cut the tape before they even they came with the dots. Yeah, I used to do it and fold it. And... Yep. I remember even before that, we used to take our tabs. You guys remember the tabs instead of the runners? And uh, we would double it to make it stand up. Is there different thicknesses of pop dots? Yes. There, there's a standard. This is kind of like a standard one, but yes, there is. Okay, one more thing. I'm going to give each one of these guys. You need bodies on the butterflies. Yep. I'm giving them a head. So we have headless butterflies. Does that look better? Or do you want me to give them a body body? Let me cut one and see what it looks like. And I know you usually do it. You'll do the little oval thing. Yeah. Let's see what it looks like. You know, I didn't ink that either, those butterflies. That's right. I didn't ink it. Talking to myself again. What can I say? Got thumbs up on the bodies. All right. Let's just cut one and see what it looks like. Yep, you're right. It does. Okay, two more. Thank you, girls. You're watching me so I don't cut my fingers. I can hear you. <laughs> I got the band-aid cherry <laughs> and a tourniquet. Most definitely yeah. bodies. And I'm calling, I'm pronouncing it Detra. I used to have uh, classmates and their name was Detra that they had, but it could be Detra also, but I was calling Detra, but uh, yeah, she's doing quality control for you, Linda. 
I need all the help I can get, girl. And Gay's also doing quality control. Good. You guys keep me on my toes here. Oops. Oh, biggie. Deep throw then. Sorry about that. Names were not his best thing. <laughs> well, I had a classmate, Becky Detra was her name, but that was her last name. It was spelled the same way. Mm. Yeah, I was thinking about it. Usually it's Dietra that I've seen. Okay. Gotta we glue. glue. That down yet, right? We got a glue. Yeehaw. I won't forget next time Dietrich's on. Nope, you won't. I don't forget very much. Nope. Except important stuff or things you asked me to do. Yeah. But that's okay. You're here full time pretty much, so I can get you to do it. Dietrich says, if it's close, I'll answer. <laughs> This is sticky glue too. Once it's down, it's not going anywhere. Oh. Stacy Renee thinks I'm funny. He is funny. He can be serious though too, let me tell you. When he's serious and he crosses his arm and his eyebrow twitches, you wanna run. Cause he's gonna not be pleased. He might say a few choice words. Oops, oops, don't move. Ta-da! So you said you got the paper that you used at the local scrapbook store right there? Me? Yes. I got the Scrap paper. Mania. Yes, I did. Okay. So all we need to do is doodle. And I'm probably going to write something on the tags. That's going to be where I'm going to journal. I thought about, well, I don't know. Let's, let's see here. Let's pull out our journal templates. We do have a place we could journal. Let's see what we got here. Where's some of them small ones? Expressions and captions. Nikki said it's beautiful. Dietra said it's pretty. Kristen I don't said want, gorgeous. I don't want to cover Deb everything. Beautiful. That has the anniversary coming up. That would match the points. I like that. Should we put a journal spot on there? What do you think? Yay, yeah, nay. It's lovely. Yes or no? Do we put the journal spot? Maybe. Maybe. Yes. I'm waiting for them to say. So, yes or no, if we do the journal spot? Red says amazing. Gay says no. No. You want that off? Okay. Stacy says, do the tags behind the pictures pull out? I missed the beginning. <laughs> Kathy says, yes. Okay. There's, there's, there's the tag, Stacy. Stacy, she's our scrap mania owner, my scrapbook store lady. Glad to see you're doing okay, girl. She wasn't. Kathy says, yes. Deetra says, no. Deb says, yes. Well, let's so see. you could go either way. Oh. Hmm. I don't want to cover that up. Renee says, no, I think you should journal on the tags. Okay. In the pockets. What? And you got somebody like that, a Sandy like that. What I would suggest you do is why don't you uh, surprise them and you think about it a little bit too. Because yeah. you've got, and I've got a doodle. See where both can work and do your yep. doodle and then see if that will fit in or not. You did the one earlier today where you hey, did. Hey, how about that? Look at that. I think I found a spot to journal. I'm Thank still you. in my nightgown. Just sent Peyton to go grab me a sandwich. Oh, if you need something, you let me know. I can help out too. So we don't live too far apart. So you don't cover up the beautiful paper. Okay. I like it. Maybe right here. Deb says, I like that. I saw a heart go up. Good. Okay. Well, that one is done except for my little doodles. And I might see what I'm going to put on the tags yet too. We might, I might come up with something for that. 
So I'll let you yes, know. Tuck behind the tag. You got a couple hearts. Huh? Good. Good. Okay. You guys take your snapshot. You won't see it now until I post it. Dietrich has a heart. Sandy says like that. Awesome. I think it turned out really, really pretty. Thank you guys so much. Let's put this one back out. This is the first one. There you go. Dramatically different, but the same sketch. And show the sketch thing again. Oh, I'm going to do the sketch. Started. And then this is how it starts right here. Kimberly says beautiful layout, gorgeous layout. Here, Deb, I'm is holding there... the sketch for you. See if that's close enough. And it's, you'll find Thanks. the. It's been fun hanging with you. Oh, thank you, Gay. There is, a, there'll be a link in here. You'll, it, they've already posted it. So you might have to go back and watch the replay a little bit. Or. Um, or the sketch. Yeah. But um, Tiffany loves both. Crazy there to skate. Yeah, isn't that? It's, it's different. It's it's so amazing. That's like why we Amy love too. our Kiwi Lane I template. Mean, spread, but no journaling yet. Hexagons cut out for a card that, that you'll create, create later. later. Yeah, I was going to do one of those cards. I actually did one for the scrapbook store to do a class here next month. So um, I was going to grab it and bring it home and show you. It was almost identical to the sketch, but uh, I forgot it. So anyway, girls, I am going to let you go. Made a spread, but under. Okay. I'm going to let you go and you enjoy your evening. We might catch a show of Downton Abbey. <laughs> so, all right, girls, have a good night and we'll catch you on the other side. Bye.